Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's go through programmable array logic. Okay, basically PAL is a most commonly used type of PLD. It is a programmable array of logic gates. The array of logic gates is in a single chip. It is in AND OR configuration. Yeah, that's true. Here we are having programmable AND array and fixed OR array. The OR array, that's it, right? Okay, just give me a second. I'll be checking it so that whether I told you. Yeah, that's correct. Programmable AND array and fixed OR array. So basically, let us assume that the given question he gave four K maps, right, guys? He gave four K map values. So by using K maps, you need to solve these guys. I have just skipped that step, guys, because it's going to take a bit of time. So I thought save our time so find the equations or the boolean expressions using k map so we are gonna get these expression guys so now i'll be showing you how we can represent these expressions on a pal okay basically we'll be using a pal of how much we're gonna use here that's better 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 okay how many types of inputs four types so four into how many AND gates so basically AND gates here the maximum number of pairs are 3 right so 3 2 2 2 so 3 3 3 3 assume like that so in middle we will be having 2 well guys and at the end we are, will be having 4 okay guys so you will be once you are we are going through you will be understanding why did I take 2 well in middle even though 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are enough. I am taking 2 well. So you will be understanding the reason behind it. Don't worry. Okay. So let us start our process. So I hope everyone remember how we have drawn PLA previously. It is also similar like that guys. So there is no much confusion. No more problems. Come on. Let's go. So basically we are having 4 different variables. Right? A, B, C, D. Come on. Draw with me guys. Take a piece of paper. Draw with me. A. A bar is done. B is done. B bar is done. C is done. C bar is done. D is done. D bar is done. So now I hope everyone is now clear with this diagram. So now the given question we just found the expressions. So, okay, let us first complete the drawing, guys. That's better. Okay, let me extend. I will, I need a... It's going to be a really big diagram, guys. Okay. Okay, guys. I hope everyone is understanding the concepts. So, basically, you will be... need You need to draw 2 well and gates. How many, guys? 2 well. So let us start drawing them. Okay, I'll be drawing a bit near guys so that you can see all those things in a single shot. Okay. I'm done with 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Even now they are not able to be appearing in a single shot I think so yep they are appearing guys okay so now all these outputs okay oh my god this is a crazy diagram so we'll be getting four outputs from it okay so here we'll be using R gates Okay, I have just drawn the R gates, assuming this as F1, F2, F3, F4. These are the four results, guys. So basically, okay, let me draw these lines also. Let us complete drawing and then we'll be discussing about the problem. There is no rush in this. Because this is a complex diagram, if we are messed once, it's gone. We need to draw it again because I'm drawing with pen. That to be the gel pen. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. 
one more yep done guys so now i hope everyone remember that it is a programmable and array so i can program here but there is no chance of programming here it is a fixed or array so here i am fixing it with three guys these three will be fixed 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 okay guys so now i hope you understood why did i take three as a pair if i had just took two in one of the equation we are having three way three different parts right so in that we are able to only take two guys so that's the reason why i took an extra we'll be just leaving this line empty that's that is of no problem guys so now i hope everyone understood and i i hope everyone knows how we'll be solving this thing so basically the first equation okay guys i'll be reading it out for you don't worry the book is right above me but keeping it and removing it it will be a bit tough okay let us do that only that will make you that will be clear for you okay i hope everyone can see both so our first equation is a bar b bar d so a bar b bar right okay a bar is done b bar is done d is done fine similarly a b bar c d bar a b bar c d bar guys there is no need of drawing two lines guys even you draw a single line that's fine okay, unfortunately with i didn't observe it i have just drawn two lines so up to here we are done with f1 guys don't draw like this this is just for your understanding i'm just drawing like that and the next one will be starting with a and b c d is the another pair b c d so these three belongs to f2 further moving on f3 okay let me open the paper off okay so up to here it's done so now a b d right d okay the next one a bar b bar a bar b bar and these three done with f3 further moving on to f4 f4 is nothing but a b c bar so a b c bar fine next a bar b bar d a bar b bar d done further moving on a b bar c d bar okay so now this four f four is done so now i hope everyone understood that how we have just completed the diagram guys this will be the diagram for p a l of the given k map expression or the min terms expressions guys so i hope everyone is now clear how we can draw the diagram for this so in the next tutorial we'll be going through prompts thank you thanks for watching